doing as the needle does. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? The irresume does not hide the skin. The tattoo reveals the nature of the man and illuminates the four noble professions in the Book of Five Rings. A warrior, an artist, a merchant, and a farmer. If there is a conflict between the needle and the skin, between the mark and the man, then perhaps the path you've chosen is not the path for which you're suited. What did you just say, old man? No, you didn't just disrespect me, did you? You that fucking stupid? You disrespect me and I tattoo the ceiling with your fucking brains! No disrespect. You're lucky. I can't kill you until you finish this thing. Give me that mirror. Let's see how it's looking. It's bad, not bad. Hey boss, this just came for you. What is it? A letter. So open it, dumbass. What? What is it? You look like sand. <clears throat> yep. Sand. Black sand. <sighs> you know what this is? Hey, you want to let us in on the joke? Years ago, I watched a man open an envelope like that one. There were many with him. And they laughed as you laugh now. <laughs> And their laughter was drowned in blood. What came out of the shadows? I cannot say the word. What word? That night, one of their blades struck here. I should have died before an accident of birth. My heart is here, on the other side. The fuck is that? Looks like a ninja, boss. Ninja? Are you kidding me? Like, that's the word you're afraid to say? Ninja? <laughs> ninja, ninja, ninja. Here yeah, you are. Fuck. You got me going. Ninja. That's some good shit. <laughs> <laughs>
But what pinged for me was the amount, the exact same amount rumored to have been paid to the Azuru clan for the Yakuza massacre that happened last week in Osaka. So, you start to wonder in this ever-changing world if the cost of a man's life remains the same. Exactly. I mean, I figure these clans are like what? A thousand years old? They probably don't change a lot. So, I started looking at international wire transfers, targeting banks in the regions of several high-profile assassinations. And bingo, Russian Prime Minister Zhukov. The day before the assassination, $1,555,999.90 was transferred from the Bank of Shanghai. That is the exact market equivalent of 100 pounds of gold. Okay, you got me. This is interesting. The clans are real, Ryan. They steal children and turn them into assassins. Yeah, look, Mika, no one's denying the historical facts, but this whole thing just doesn't make sense in the modern world. They're real. I mean, you can call them spooks or assassins or whatever you want if it makes you feel better, but they are out there, and they are killing people. And nobody's doing a damn thing to stop them. Hi, excuse me. Would you mind? If it's not too much trouble, could you help me with this? What can I have you from? What are you doing in Berlin? I don't understand. during the height of the Cold War by a high-ranking KGB agent named Alexei Sabatini. In it, he raises the possibility that a number of political assassinations were conducted by an ancient and very sophisticated network he calls the Nine Clans. Mind you, he doesn't call them ninjas. What happened to him? Same thing that's going to happen to me if I hang around with you. Kicked out of the service for mental instability. You believe it now, don't you? Ninjas. You've got to be joking. Well, then why are you doing all this? I don't know. But I can guarantee you it has nothing to do with the fact that you're the most attractive researcher I have ever worked with. Oh, Mr. Len, good you're back. We had a heating problem and I had to go into your apartment. Is it all right? It's all fixed. You keep it very dark and spare in there. And forgive me, but I couldn't help noticing your suitcases. I told you, my father was a very sick man. Do you have to leave Berlin soon? Not yet, but I am expecting a phone call. I'm sorry to hear that. One day, death will come for us all.
this is the way of the ninja. Eat tonight and you work twice as hard tomorrow. Mrs. Abbotton? Yeah. I'm Mika Coretti with Europol. We spoke on the phone? You said you read my husband's report, yes? Yes. I understand the report caused some problems for him within the KGB. The report caused problems for Alexei's career the way Moses caused problems for the Pharaoh. Very unpleasant. What happened? About two years ago, after the assassination of Zhukov, the report drew attention. After that, everything was different. Alexei hired men to change all the locks and put in more of them. Locks on the windows, locks on the doors, locks on the locks. He put in cameras and motion sensors and lights. Everywhere lights. There can be no shadows, he said. No shadows. Then one day a man came to the door. They talked in Alexei's study for some time and then the young man left. My husband was a soldier, member of Russian intelligence. He was not a man to frighten easily. But when I came to the door, in his eyes I saw fear. And then he stood up. He kissed me and told me that he loved me very much. He said, I should always remember that. Do you know what they talked about? No. He said it was safer that way. 
Can I ask how he died? Relax, one dog. You are the first person who has taken my husband's work seriously. It would be good to know that he did not die without cause. He would want you to have this. usually when we're working. 
Has Agent Maslow seemed different to you lately in any way? I mean, has he said or done anything that struck you as unusual? Uh, no. Why? Has Agent Maslow done something? Just routine. The agency cares about its field operatives. We monitor for signs of stress, fatigue, mental exhaustion. Agent Maslow has a serious caseload. That much work can wear on a man. Huh? Zabransky came to my office. Yeah, I got a surprise visit too. He made it real clear, Ryan. They're watching us. Well, I don't get the full picture quite yet, but I know a warning when I see one. But why? Why? It's obvious. If this little fantasy of yours has any chance of being real, then these clans are going to have some pretty major juice protecting you. So what are you going to do? We are going to tiptoe very carefully from here on in. You understand? You do nothing without checking with me first. Got it? Mm -hmm. Got it. The 14th century scroll refers to one of the oldest of the nine clans as the clan of Black Sand. The Islamic explorer Ibn Battuta journeyed with a group of orphans that were being taken to a remote shire home hidden among snow-capped mountains. Battuta describes a ceremonial dinner followed by a display of martial skill. The combatants were children neither beyond the age of ten. His hosts explain that a man's life must be made meaningless compared to the life of the clan. Own the meaning of a man's life and you own his heart. to meet me, but it misses you. Liar. I'm not lying. Listen to mine.
Kiriko. All failure must be sown into the flesh. Cut him. I told you. I tried to warn you. Yes. You did. Why, Kiriko? Why? Why am I in here? Or why are you out there? Hey. Hey. 
So, what's going on? Power is out. Us, being behind us, and that one across the street. It seems like every few months, boom, the lights out. Okay. Thanks.
Where are we going? Doesn't matter. You think they're following us? I know they're following us. I don't see anything back there. They have our scent. Following our scent? Like dogs? No, like wolves. My name is Mika, by the way. Raisu. It's the name I was given. So, so you're an orphan? If it's okay with you, I'm going to try and fill in some of the bags here. So, you must have been taken by the Azunu clan, trained to be an assassin, but something happened, and you decided to opt out of the program. Now, I don't imagine that went over so well. And since they're after me for just peeking through the keyhole, they must be after you in like a major way. But you're also after them, which is why you're in Berlin, because Sabaton is one of the few people pursuing the clans, which is why they took him out. But here's a question I can't answer. Why did you save me? Your entire life has brought you to this moment. Do not fail yourself. Do not fail your family. He's wearing a gold watch. Bring it to me.
you need protection? No. I want Ozuno, and I need you have to get him. Exit here. You're a size 36. What? No, size 34. If you leave when I'm gone, they'll hunt you and kill you. Do you understand? small, I guess. This is for a scent, right? Let's go. Yeah. Wait, it's me. Mika, for Christ's sake, I've been calling you for hours. I know, I'm in a bit of trouble. Trouble? Listen, you missed jury service, you're in trouble. You're in the deepest shit you've ever been in. Yeah, well, at least I'm not down here by myself. Sabatine's guy, the one from the tape, is he with you? He's on our side, Ryan. He wants Azuna, but he needs the agency's help. Be careful, Mika. I trust him. All right, look. I can't make any promises, but if he cooperates, I'll do what I can. Can you meet us? Where? Um, how about the usual? There he is. That's all right. He's a good guy. Mika, are you okay? Yeah, thanks to him. Why have you done this? Then what? People will die. Secure, sir. Right. Sure doesn't look like a killing machine to me, sir. Looks like he belongs in a boy band. He couldn't have hurt them. Could he? Sir? Right? This is wrong. I mean, it, it can't be legal. What is this place? Your own private Guantanamo? It's an old GDR safe house. Jameson wants this off the grid. You're making a huge mistake. I don't think so. I got reports from London, Washington, and Osaka, all tagging your boy. The only problem we have is where to extradite him first. Well, sir, two weeks ago, there's no such thing as ninja, and now every city in the world has a warrant for one? He is not the enemy. He's a killer, Mika. When you're the one telling me, it was our job to stop him. You're not even listening to me. Because you're not saying anything worth hearing. Look, come on, do the insubordination tango. Let's go. We're not in front of the children, okay? Boys, get out. Come on, let's go. Rouse! Damn it, Ryan. I am just trying to... Somebody's pulling some major strings inside. They want him dead. He's been fighting them for years. I believe you. I've been in this business too long, not to smell a setup, but we have to be very careful how we handle this, and I cannot risk you going AWOL on me again. Now, if you get into trouble, you switch this on, and no matter where you are, I'll find you. I'm sorry, I didn't know about any of this. I know. You do? The only time you lied to me was when you told me your size. How did you know that? Your heart. It is special. Muscles on your side. He's going to try to help you. It's too late. Hey, no one else here. Hey, hey. 
Yes, aren't you? We have to do this again, Coretta? I just... I have reason to believe that a group of ninja may be on their way here. Well, I think these gentlemen can handle a few wet jobs wearing pajamas, am I right? Yes, sir. the situation we discussed. Yeah, I'm working on that. You have to give me some time. We don't have time. They're not here now, are they? They'll be here soon. How soon? Where's it?
Researcher. It's like a, a fancy way of saying I'm a librarian. By myself, I can't do anything to help you. I want to 
wanted to thank you for saving my life. And I hope you can forgive me for this. International! Yeah. I have a tracking device. Got a lock? Triangulating a position now. Right, I want the International Task Force mobilized and ready to go in five minutes.
Let's stay inside the APC. Hey, help me with some meat. Oh, there's ready to stop.
first breath of my life.